Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mario here from Grumpy OGs up against Rage Gang and Phoenix 5 and G1 Siege. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So, here are the defenses that they were running. They had a mixed Vitra Tower. Then they had this Chandra Byung mixed tower. They had a LD Tower. Then they had this mixed LD Tower. Another Chandra Byung plus one tower. And then they had this Siri tower. For the first hit, we're going to hit this Chandra, Audrey, and Byung Chol with the double snipe team. We are going to be running the 69 crit rate Fire Cassandra. So let's hope that we don't get screwed over here. I did put plus the light so I can kill the Audrey. Just to make sure that she isn't on some weird build. But yeah, let's see how this one went. Hopefully we don't get cuzzed like in the last siege. All right, we're gonna go for the Chandra here. There he goes, and we should have no problem with the Audrey. 69K for the 69 crit rate. Now we just gotta pray that this Gung Chul doesn't go off. We don't land the stun though. We're not landing anything at all. We didn't even land the crit. He almost kills the Bethany. Okay, we land the slow. Skill two, we don't land the crit. Right here I messed up, I should have went for the skill 3, just as a YOLO play because he was going to kill her anyways. We're going to boost up here, and we should hopefully be able to kill him. He goes for the skill 2, luckily it doesn't proc. We're going to go for the skill 2, we do crit this time, and we secure the first win. Don't forget to share your replays, especially if you get clipped like Cuz. For the next attack, we're going to hit this Chandra Byung, the Bay with the Bulwark team. I thought that this would be pretty easy, but as you'll see, this defense hits really, really hard. So they're probably on some crit damage here. There goes the Byung. Okay, it doesn't seem like much yet, but there goes the Bay. He hit pretty hard onto my Molong. Right here, we're going to target the Chandra. Try to get him out of here ASAP. And you would think it's a 3v2. I got the Chandra out of here. We got the defense buff, we have the immunity, we're fine. No, this is the base gonna do a pretty good chunk of damage. And it does get sketchy because it's just a matter of trying to kill him as soon as possible, but they do get a good amount of procs. He's going for the Molong here. We gotta try to heal up a little bit. We got into half health, but we still gotta wait for the skill three to come up. Sometimes I think about switching my Molong to Violent. But he's on a pretty decent vampire set and he has like plus 50 something life drain on him. I think I might have nerfed it. But he had a crazy amount of life drain. Not that he needs it with his like most recent buff. The bay is getting pretty low here. But our HP is getting destroyed as well. He does a pretty good chunk of damage. Look at their HP. Like this guy's doing a pretty good amount of damage. I think he's still underrated. I know a lot of people say that he still sucks. I think he did pretty good on this defense. I guess I could use another Praline, Bethany, and then Claire for this one. And kind of avoided all the procs and stuff. But I'm still kind of sketched out about getting soloed by the Byung Chol. Like, I'm not going to double snipe everything because I know at some point I'm going to get soloed by this guy. There he goes. For the next attack, we're going to hit this Clara, Smicer, and Theo team. We're just going to Lucian it. I don't think we're going to have a problem outspeeding it. Kill um, the Smicer, proc the Endor, maybe kill the Clara, and then we snipe the Theo, and that's pretty much it. Okay, we didn't kill the Clara. We didn't really do anything to her. We're going to go for the skill 2 onto the Theo. See if we can strip and kill. Okay, perfect. That's a 3v1, and we really don't have much to worry about. We're going to heal up a little bit. Now, I know some of you might be wondering, damn, these defenses look pretty tough for being G1. Well, they are not G1 guilds, so that's a lie. Now we just go for the kill on the Clara, and we secure another win. We're going to use another Lucian team. This time we're going to bring in Jin. Hopefully we can outspeed this Cichlid. And then we can just cleave it with Lucian if they aren't on a minus win build. Let's see how it went. Alright, they don't have the shield, but... Are they on minus win? Are they tanky? No, they're not. GG's. Now we're going to use another Lucian team. 
this is my full three this isn't 10 if you guys want to see the 10 lucians let me know in the comment section below standard team we're gonna snipe the odin and then we're gonna snipe him again with a miang and that's it now the adriana actually moved first i was kind of scared that they were all on swift but we cut in here with the Tion. we're gonna go for a skill three we kill two of the three the odin's gonna come back there goes the clara she doesn't use the skill three I think right here I was kind of debating if I should go into the Clara. I know it's not the right move to do, but I was just thinking about it. And then I started targeting the Odin. We're tanking a few hits from him. And then we're going to go for the heal here. The Lucian should be able to kill him. Alright, he's down. Now it's a 3v1 and this one should be a win. Good thing I didn't hit the Clara because, yeah, we would have lost that one for sure. Now we're going to hit another one of these Odin defenses, this time with Sonya. Same thing, just the Sonya instead of a Lucian. The only thing that we are worried about is if it's on some weird defense build. I haven't encountered it yet. I wouldn't be surprised if I do at some point. There he goes. And now we're going to kill him with the Miang. And now it's a 3v2. And we don't really have much to worry about with these two. They could just be a little bit annoying. I did waste the skill 2 there, I should have just waited until I had the attack buff. But yeah, I was just trying to get this attack over with ASAP. GG's. Now for the next attack, we're going to use the Julie Cleave. Same thing, hopefully we outspeed. And then we just cleave it. I don't think they're going to be on minus water. They typically are never on minus water. It's always minus wind. Okay, we do outspeed it. They don't have shield or will. Do we land the defense breaks? We land 2 of the 3. And we kill two of the three. It's just a 3v1 against this Miyang. And there she goes. GG's. Now for the next attack, we're going to use Malite, Windy, and Raccoon. I guess I could have Julied this one. I didn't want to take the risk. I don't know if there was any replays or not. So I went in with this team. Windy did pretty decent in this one. My main concern was the Cichlid targeting the Rakuni, but she targets the Malite and everything kind of starts targeting him. We're going to go for the skill 2 here. Go for the Windy skill 2. We don't have the Malite skill 2. And we're just going to start working on to the Miang. As soon as we can get rid of her, we don't really have that much to worry about. Even if the Cichlid defense breaks the Rakuni, he is pretty tanky. He could take some hits from the Lumei. She is on Despair though, making it a little bit more annoying. The Miang goes down, now it's a 3v2, and we're going to target the Cichlid, then the Lumei. Alright, GG's. Now for the next attack, we're going to use another one of the Julie Cleaves. I think this one was confirmed to be on a violent set. So we don't have all that much to worry about. So let's see how it went. Okay, they don't have will. Can we land defense breaks at least on the Vitra? Okay, we do. And we should be able to kill here. We don't kill the Cichlid. But she's not going to do jack shit. And there she goes. Now for the last attack, we're going to have a little bit of fun here and bring in the Siri Escher Vitra team into the Miang Cichlid Vitra team. So basically the old meta defense versus the new meta defense. Which one's going to win here? We do land the strips and the slows. We're going to go for the skill 2 here. We land the stun onto the Cichlid, but we get defense broken. There goes the Vitra. He lands a shit ton of dots, but we're going to go for the skill 3 here. We kill him with the Escher. There goes the Miang. She goes for the skill 2, but doesn't kill the Vitra. She procs a little bit. But we are fine here. We're going to go for the Miang. If we can kill her, then we secure the win here. Can we kill? No, we land the Glancing. But there goes the Massacre. We kill her. Now it's a 3v1 against the Cichlid. There goes the Siri for the Tenno. GG's. Now let's go ahead and check out the results. We did end up winning the Siege. We got OP Alex in the number one spot. Followed by Adam, me, and Blue. You might have noticed Alex has been at the top of like every siege recently. He's been getting a crazy amount of defense wins. Let's see if this trophy box provides for us. It only provides five water scrolls, rip, and a bunch of mana. But yeah, let's go ahead and collect these, summon this legendary scroll, and see if we can get anything good. 
We're looking for the Wind of Kaibi Lord, the Fire Triss, and the Water Siri. Let's see if we get one. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, maybe consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. We get the Dokaibi Princess. That's the wrong one. I don't think we're going to get anywhere near this month's sub goal. But if we can get close to it, I'd really appreciate it. Again, thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.